Brothers, sisters, good morning. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. A minute or two late this morning, it has been, uh, it has been an interesting morning. My wonderful and amazing wife and I had uh, a whole series of things planned out today with how we were going to get done the things that we needed to get done. And as life sometimes will happen, uh, all of that got tossed out the window and we have been improvising as we went along here. So if I'm, uh, if I'm just catching my breath, that's okay. Uh, because we are uh, innovating, right? It's the year of innovation. This morning, I want to talk with you about stories. Stories are, well, they're, they're almost everything, aren't they? They are, they are who we are and they, they are how we, how we grow, how we share, how we learn, and how we get to know other people. Stories matter. I love that. Stories matter. That's your takeaway. As my friend Chris says, you always have to have a takeaway. The takeaway from this live stream message is stories matter. What I want you to think about is your COVID story. Every one of us has one. COVID has changed us in ways we probably have not even yet begun to recognize. We're aware of some of it. Other things will take longer for us to gain some perspective and look back on and, and learn about. But I'm really curious about your COVID story. And as you think about how to, how to even perceive that, how do you figure out what your story is? Part of the challenge is, well, it's my story, and so I'm very close to it, and it, I'm, it's too personal. So it's hard for me to have that perspective of sort of an outsider looking in because my story is so personal to me. After all, I'm the star of the story. Let me give you a couple pieces of advice. The, the first is this. I want you to think about your story in two ways. Think about your story where you are the hero. You're the hero of the story. We all know stories. We've all seen the movies where, you know, there's definitely a hero. You are the hero of your story. So as you try to process your COVID story over this past year, think, think about what it looks like in that story when you are in fact the hero. That'll be easier for some than for others. But let it marinate. Let, it, let yourself think about what that looks like. And give yourself credit for some of the things that you have done. For those of you who, make, who find that part to be very hard, I want you to think about the other people's lives that you have touched. How you have interacted with folks. How you have called, texted, emailed, met for coffee, Zoomed, how you've embraced new technology. We're doing this right now over Facebook. How many of you didn't even know what Facebook was before COVID struck? So give yourself credit for some of the things you have done in that process. That's, that's the first way to look at your story. The second way to look at your story is to cast yourself not in the role of the hero, but in the role of the victim. How are you the victim of your COVID story? That should be a pretty easy one too, because so much of our lives was taken away from us. So many of the things that we take for granted, we were prevented from doing. We have a wonderful lady who belongs to the church and she I met her in the courtyard before Sunday Mass, and she had this amazing smile on her face, and she said, isn't it wonderful to be back? And who would ever have thought that we would have taken for granted this amazing gift to be able to gather in our own building? Yeah, it was beautiful. Think of yourself as the victim in that story. Now, for some of you, that will be easier than others. But 
a word of warning, when you cast yourself as a victim, don't use that as an opportunity to sort of wallow in, in, uh, in self-pity. This is not an invitation to a pity party. You can decline that invitation. But it, it does give you a le different lens, right? If you look at your story on this side where you are the hero of the story, and then you look at the, story, the same story on this side as the victim, what you're going to find is there's also an overlap. If you know what a Venn diagram is, it's, it's two circles. One circle portrays one set of reality. The other circle portrays a second set of reality. And oftentimes those circles intersect. And in the space where they intersect, that's the important stuff. And so what I'm going to suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, is this. In your story where you're the hero and your story where you're the victim... That intersection, that place where it all comes together, that's where you're going to find God. That's where you'll see God in the story of your COVID experience. God supporting you in your role as the hero and encouraging you to do things you've never done before. And God carrying you and strengthening you in those times that you were the victim and helping you through that process. Try that. Try to figure out where your stories intersect and where God has been with you on the journey thus far because we're not done with this yet. It's changing. It's getting better. I had my second COVID shot yesterday. I'm, I'm thrilled to death. But we're not, it's not completely behind us yet. Having said that, the time to start looking for perspective is right now. So engage in this exercise and see what it does for you because, my friends, stories do indeed matter.